Hello and welcome to another episode of Intellectual Property Experiments. Today's experiment, I'm going to be exploring the fight for freedom in the net neutrality debate. Now I know, I know, there's been plenty of videos, but this video isn't a video about arguments or discussion about net neutrality. There's a bunch of people that made a lot of really good videos. Peter Kaufman made a really good video recently. Go check that out. This video is a video about the freedoms you didn't know you had and how to exercise them. Join me, will you? So for this project that I've been working on for the past uh, week, week and a half, two weeks, who knows? Who knows at this point? I needed a very particular piece of footage. A very famous particular piece of footage from history. The first video of an imperialist invasion by the US streamed online. I looked on YouTube for it and there's been some, you know, there's some postings here, there's shock and awe. But it's got this ideological garbage that I just didn't want around it and it's horrible quality. It's got this fuck. It's like, what is this? It's a, it's a fucking um, ticket on a ticket, tab on a tab, lower thirds on a lower third. Oh my god, it's just disgusting. It's disgusting. There's other sources. I'm skipping this top one because this is the one that I eventually went with. But all these other sources, this one's very misleading. It looks like it's high quality based on the thumbnail. But look at this tiny piece of shit. What the fuck is this? This tiny ass. Fucking 180p ass. Fucking, what is this? Look at this. 144? No. No. I refuse. I ended up looking at this one, which isn't HD, obviously. I'm, they had HD back then, but let me switch that to the higher quality. 480p. 480p is the best it can do. And if you look at it, it's not that bad. There we go. It's not that bad, other than the fucking watermark. It's not that bad. And it's... It's in its entirety. This is the attack on Iraq. This is it. This is what happened. This is history. Look at that. Look at those booms. Look at the explosion. I'm not going to turn on the sound. It's too fucking loud and obnoxious. I tried removing this, this logo, this watermark, using my method. I couldn't get it completely out due to its high opacity. It's, it's a little too opaque, and the background's a little too dark. The contrast is way too high, and it just doesn't work out. It's still noticeable, and for my purposes, I didn't want anything in there that you could notice to distract from the ideological message that I was that I was trying to push. So instead, out of curiosity, I went to this website, the CNN Collection, and it turns out it's a commercial stock footage subsidiary of CNN that sells like real news footage, unbranded to third parties. I'm not gonna buy it, but out of, out of curiosity, I want to see how much it costs. Education, all media, all use worldwide because it's fucking fine national maybe it's cheaper national three years delivery format flash should be cheap right no it's fucking nine hundred dollars again i can only use it for three years and it's national now granted this is not a consumer website this is rights management pricing for other media companies that want to use shit that cnn shot but fuck off i'm not a media company I'm just a fucking dude that makes videos on a stupid-ass website. I don't even get any fucking money out of it. Why the fuck would I do this? So instead, pretty lucky discovery here, I noticed this logo. This logo's not baked in the video. This logo is actually overlaid. And I'm going to show you. And this is Flash, by the way. I'm going to show you by going into Inspect. And this works in Chrome, Firefox. Don't use Edge. Don't use Internet Explorer. It, it works in any open-source browser. You inspect the element, confirmed here, flash player. It's something called fucking TE player. And I'll, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save this for later. And I'm gonna copy this URL and make this, just, just save it. Just save it, because I'm gonna need it later anyway. So down here, if we scroll down, we'll see something in the objects tag called param. That's short for parameters, and flash fars, which is short for flash variables. If we take this, copy that, and I'll, I'll go into here, into my text editor. Uh, it's a lot of bullshit. You probably can't see it because human eyes don't work that way. There's no spaces. But if you notice here, from here to fucking here, there's a thing called logo. 
this is a flash variable. Logo is a flash variable, and these are just, you know, adding on to the. This is a variable over what it doesn't matter. So this logo, we're gonna go to this fucking logo, this URL, and see what it is. You've already you you've done the mental work. You already know what it is. You can't see it because it's Chrome, but if I refresh, there it is. CNN collection in all its glory, without the video, just the watermark. Perfect. So now, so we've got that. What do we do? We take this flash variable and we add in, well, we don't even fucking, we'll put in something that doesn't exist. Fucking poopy ass holes in my soup dot, dot ping. And obviously the next one's kind of negated because logo position, there is no logo. So I'm just going to take this, you, you select basically here to here, copy that. And I'll just I'll just uh, duplicate this and put it on the end here with a question mark, which is how you how you start the variable process because this this is just uh, appending variables. This is actually starting a variable. Uh, it works both on PHP and shit like that. It doesn't matter. So you copy this whole URL with that modified uh, watermark URL, and fucking lo and behold, uh, you go to it and it's fucking gone. It's gone. There's no logo. So, instead of paying a thousand three hundred and nine hundred dollars for this fucking bullshit, uh, just do this. I mean, it, at this point, you just grab your favorite screen capturing software and capture the screen. Because I know, you know, and this is I'm directing this video towards leftist creators that need political shit. You can go to this website. That's YouTube. You can go to this website and look for fucking all kinds of things. Uh, Reagan, you, whatever. You're into politics. Just fucking go here. Some of these you do have to request, and this is an email. I haven't done this yet. I haven't tested this. You have to contact someone via email, request a video preview, and they're usually processed in 48 hours. I'm going to test that. We'll see if that works. I don't know what they're going to give me. Uh, but essentially, this is like a, this is like dissolve is to stock footage, but instead of just, it's not stock footage, it's unbranded B-roll and news footage. Say you want this one. You take this clip ID, and you go to the one that worked, and you just replace it. And you just paste it, and you're good to go. It loads up, logo free, and you're good to go. It's not the highest quality, but this is, you know, uh, there's no ticker, there's no nothing, none of that bullshit. There's this logo here, but it's very minimal. It's a very minimal stream. And if it's your last resource, which it was for me, you know, you'll take it. So... That's it for this intellectual property experiment. Uh, you know, it's 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 not necessarily net neutrality, but it's in the realm of internet freedom, and it's a freedom you didn't know you had. It's a freedom I didn't know I had until I started opening up the source code and poking around. So, legal or not, illegal or not, you gotta fucking, uh, you know, if you want to make memes, make memes. Rip off Wi-Fi, whatever you gotta do, you make those memes keep posting comrade jeb right here look at him fighting back that's right fucking uh, don't fall asleep yeah i forgot to mention i got two million subscribers two million one thousand three hundred and eighty subscribers to be exact thanks a lot guys Flea Market Socialist Army going strong. Don't forget to subscribe to my Twitter. And I've also got an Instagram right over here. You just got to click it. You just got to click it. It's a hidden button. Uh, thank you for joining. Good night.